Three, two, one. This is the Mac Media Show. Welcome to the Mac Media Show, everyone. My name is Mac. And I'm Ray. And we are the two that review for you. I like it, Mac. I like it. That's cool. Not bad. I said it like a little, ro- like a robot, a little bit. <laughs> said it cool. kind of weird. Cool, cool. Oh, I'm excited to do this show, Reed. But first, let me tell everyone, all 12,000 of the Mac medians out there, mm-hmm. thank you. Well, I want to say hello first because I would be rude if I didn't say hello. Hello, Mac medians. I want to say thank you, all 12,000 of you, for watching the show every week, commenting on iTunes, YouTube, freaking we're everywhere on every video network. Uh, and just thank you. It's it's a lot of fun. We live tweeted the show last night. We're doing Million Dollar Listing LA. Been fans for seven years. We've watched every season. Uh, so it's fun to sit down and talk about it in the studio. Um, I'm here with Re. Say hello. You already said hello, Re. Yeah. Hi, everybody. She's here. And uh, me and Re review show. We're going to start up in our quality a little bit. You heard our little slogan there that uh, I came up with. Yeah, we, we, what are we? We are the two that review for you. That's it. And that's what we're going to That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That was pretty good, yeah. That is good. Hey, now. <laughs> you did good. Uh, that's what Howard Stern does. He goes, hey, now. <laughs> that makes me feel like Howard Stern. We have a lot of people... Uh, viewing the show today i've been tweeting with people so we're gonna up our production quality a little bit since we are the review show for this million dollar listing la and we're gonna start showing tweets on the screen i let let me go ahead and start the feed now we'll start fading in the tweets that you can see uh that we tweeted that people tweeted us and also people just tweeted regarding million dollar listing la last night uh, and that'll be interesting for you to look at as we talk about the show. Let's start off, Re. What do you give the show last night out of 10? What did you think that the show was compared to last week? You gave an 8 out of 10 last week, mm-hmm. which I thought was a little high. Did you? Uh, because you're not leaving much room for the best episodes. I mean, mm, I still think there's room for, you know, improvement if you say an 8. Well, okay. I do. We'll agree to disagree. Uh, that says to me that. It was a good show. Are you talking in the mic? Yeah, it was not the best that I thought, you know, but it was a good show, and there is room for improvement because I think there are going to be some exciting things coming up. And if you give it a 10 now, yeah. it can't go any further. So, and it, I think this was another, I think it was an eight, eight and a half. It was really good. I like some of the things they did last night. Eight they, and a half? Um, wow, I thought you'd give it a nine. They, uh, they did some good things. Um, they taught me some things. David and James taught me a couple of things. Taught you some? Yeah, they what did. did you, what did you... Well, okay. Before we get into it, let me just call out Aaron really quick. <laughs> on Twitter, okay. uh, Aaron, I think, is the TV editor uh, for... Or, or maybe he's just works on some of the editing. I don't know if he does all of it. Anyways, <clears throat> he has a part of it. And they teased Madison Hildebrand for this episode... And it, and it was disappointing. It was funny. Everybody on Twitter was talking about where's Madison, where's Madison, and <laughs> Pitt, and just this, this was in people were were furious that Madison wasn't on there. Um, and Aaron came to the defense this morning. I want to give Aaron an outlet to show everyone that it was a mid-season teaser, is what he says. Well, that's all he said. I think pretty much is it was a mid-season teaser. I don't know. What do you think about that, Reed? Was it right to? tease Madison Hildebrand for the rest of the season. I, I, I don't know. It must have been mid-season. Maybe it said this season. Normally they say next week on. See, I think it said, you know, it's just showing some previews for the rest of the season. That was my take on it. I didn't really take it to mean that he was going to be on this next week. Mm. Just like they've done Josh Flagg with his grandmother. Mm-hmm. You know, and that was not last night either. So I, I took it to mean it was going to be in the future episodes. You didn't know if it'd be this week or not. Aaron, listen, no problem. <laughs> no problem with me, Aaron. I don't mind it. I think it was fine. I think it's a good way to show us what's going to happen the rest of the season. Yeah. Um, Gives us a little peek. I don't mind it. Yeah, it was okay with me, but a lot of people did, and you probably got some backlash, too, if people know who you are. Uh, but anyways, I, I think uh, it was okay with me, and uh, I'm, I'm happy to see. I know you know all the secrets you sneaky, sneaky TV editor. <laughs> I wish we knew when... Wicked, wicked little monkey. You, <laughs> I wish we knew exactly what was going to happen when. That would be cool. Maybe yeah. I can get some secrets out of you. Who knows? But uh, anyways, 
He holds the keys to the cookie jar. I don't think Aaron's budging on anything that's going to happen this season. Oh, I like to wait and see it. I don't want to know ahead of time. I'd yeah. like to. But, you know, if you're him, it's kind of cool to know. Yeah. You know, everybody else has no idea. Yeah, that's true. That's That'd be true. cool. We have a lot of editors. Shout out to, uh, what's his name? Somebody commented last week. I'll show it on screen, maybe. And um, said that he loved the podcast. Best podcast he'd ever heard. Oh. And he was an editor for Fox Networks and Jimmy Kimmel and some other things. Well, and... thank you very much. Yeah, we he's a man. That. I think it was his that. name Neil or Nathan. or I, I should know your name. I apologize. But uh, good for him. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, we really nice. appreciate that. It makes... Uh, it, it gives us a little encouragement because it's fun to do this, and uh, and, I, and glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, you're right. And another thing I want to address to that is he asked if he could be on the podcast. He may have been oh. being facetious, but if not, I mean, you know, sarcasm or not, when we do the show live, which I've mm. been saying for weeks now that we were going to start, uh, we're going to have a phone number, and you can call in and either be a guest and also you can apply if you have microphone equipment or you know good quality or you're somebody that is on the show you can co-host the show uh, and we uh, will talk together about everything the whole episode you you you're one of us and it'll be uh, this will be the three that review the TV show for you instead of just the two so <laughs> Anyways, those are. I just want to address this couple of things. Okay, let's yeah. get back to what you were talking about. <clears throat> you said that David and James taught you something this week. What did, yeah. what did David and James teach you, Ree? That's what's fun to me when I watch uh, these episodes. I learn, you know, even though I know a good bit about real estate, I do continue to learn, you know, daily about it, and I love it. Um, I, I don't know if you want to go through, you know, kind of what happened on the show or you want to jump to this, but, um, you know, David and James... Uh, met with that guy that bought uh, Doheny, I think is what it was yeah, called mm-hmm. last week. Doheny, the, the, yeah. The guy, I don't remember his name. Younger looking guy that <clears throat> was representing his boss. Um, you know, they sold uh, Doheny to him, and he has called them and wants them to sell, I guess it was his boss's home. Is that right? That's right. Okay. And um, so they go to list the property, and and he's being kind of, you know, pushy and and kind of demanding toward them and and i think it was david spoke up and said okay we will do it for two weeks we'll take a listing for two weeks and see if we can sell it so you know they started doing all the open houses we're having kind of a tough time getting anybody to uh to make an offer on it so when they did uh finally get somebody uh to come up with an offer i believe her name was lisa and uh she had an offer of two eight i believe and they were asking two nine twenty five, so that's a pretty good offer. But when they presented it to this fellow, and I should have gotten his name, but I didn't. When they presented it to him, he was kind of haughty. He was kind of like, "No, we're not going below this." Even though uh, Josh Altman had just sold the house, you know, right across the street or down the street for two five fifty. So there was a big difference there. At two eight, this guy was still doing well, and he was thinking he was not. So one thing they did, because at first I thought, why are you calling this Lisa, uh, this broker, in front of him? Because I thought, ooh, that could be that could be dangerous. But then after they got hold of her, I saw what they were doing. They let her tell him what the property was worth, and that the one down the street just sold for two five fifty. You're doing well on this one, and um, so they did that, and. Um, and then the other thing they did was they set up their open house, uh, one of them, when it was after all the other open houses on the street. Yeah, which I thought, I thought that was, was really good. I thought that was really, really cool. Really good. That taught me something because I had never thought in those terms. Well, why not, though? I mean. Uh, well, I know because I'm just not that smart. Well, not. no, not. I guess I, in my head, I would have thought there was some kind of uh, neighborhood regulation on like a, a time limit of like when you can have an open house, maybe. No. I, I would. That's what I would have written it off as if somebody hadn't thought that way. No, Uh, because we used to always think, okay, even if there's two or three on the same street, which they've got some of the same type of houses contemporary being built there, that you would have more people come because everybody would come to every open house. But see, I love their their way of thinking, and in the uh, that everybody came to the other ones, and then this one started, which made it even a little more intriguing because you're thinking why are you different from the other ones you know just and it made everybody come to theirs yeah so i I thought that was just really they taught me two good things so kudos david and james that was awesome yeah love those two points um i loved it It i I like david and james and 
a lot of people all right let me clarify this too people they uh, have a wrong idea about what the word hustling means they think hustling is is uh, getting out what do you think hustling is huh me yeah um i would consider it working hard okay well most people don't or, or, or not most people a lot of people don't associate hustling or working hard so when david and james say they're hustling people yeah. think that they're hustling money like they're getting out there and they're oh, screwing these yeah. people no and no so I saw something on Twitter last night, and I thought, no. No, that's not even the same. That's not in the same genre. No, no. they're out there grinding, baby. Oh, they I are. tweeted them this morning. They Shout are. out. Oh, there they are, big responding already. Oh, wow. David and James, we've been tweeting back and forth, and uh, and I said, you know, you out there selling the million dollar goods today. <laughs> and uh, they tweeted back and said, you bet. Or they, what'd they say? Uh, uh, you know yeah, it. I, yeah. They said, you know it. Rise and shine, baby. That's right. And uh, that's the hustle, baby. That's it is. It. Every it day, is. getting up, positive attitude, happy, working hard, and yep. and doing things differently. Yep. Um, that's why I like David and James. People are getting used to them. I, I saw things mm-hmm. last night that the Brits are growing on me. Mm-hmm. They called them Love the Brits, them. which I still, you know, it's okay with I me, like I guess, that. But, it's not bad. Um, I yeah, do it, like it, to call them David and James, though. That's I saw I saw last night. They remember when they when they showed the small clip of them getting out of the car and they were uh, dressed the same. <laughs> great and minds dress alike. <laughs> I tweeted them. I said, "Yeah, great minds dress That's alike." Great. And uh, a lot of people agreed with me. On That's that. great. I uh, thought that was funny. That was but good. It didn't help the twin or the brother <laughs> theories because it looks like they're uh, they're either oh, twins or brothers. Good. Things are going to happen like that. It's not a big deal. So, anyways, I thought that was funny. Um, they so, had a good night, though. I thought they did really I, I well. Like David I and enjoyed James. watching them. I enjoy listening to their take on the properties. I like the um, I, I like the hustle, and I call it hustle, and I don't, I take that as a, a real positive word because I enjoy watching them going out trying to get these listings in different areas, and they're not sitting and waiting for something to happen. They're not sitting by the phone waiting for somebody to call into the office. They're out making it happen. Yeah, you know, one thing that you're right, and those two words, something about those, though, I don't like. Hustle and the grind. I see so much about the grind. Hashtag the grind. (laughs) Rise and grind. I don't get that. And I I, I don't know. I don't want to say it makes me uncomfortable, but maybe I just like doing things differently from everyone else. I don't tweet stuff like that, like hashtag rise and grind. That's kind of silly. Grinding. I'm not out there telling everybody how hard I'm working. I don't care about that. Exactly. Um, Exactly. And that's something that a lot of people do that um uh, that i i just don't i don't like to associate with that and then david and james don't do that right um right. they just have a confidence and a um mm-hmm. uh energy about them that's honest and genuine and i do uh, and and josh altman a little different um what do you think about josh in terms of who he is what he stands for what he cares about does he care more about the commission sometimes does he care about getting the best price for the client that um what about Josh Altman? Yeah. What do I think about him? Yeah. Um, it's kind of hard to tell right now to me because <laughs> of what happened last night about Heather and her bringing somebody to see that house and just the just the uh, the way they talked to each other. And, um, you know, he – I'm not really sure what he's thinking right now. I'm really not sure. I'm not sure if he really wants to get married. I'm kind of wondering if he's uh, oh, if he's yeah. kind of changing a little bit on that. I don't know. He doesn't seem to have put that in the forefront, and he still seems to look at her as secondary to me. That's just my take on it, instead of like an equal in the business. Mm-hmm. And, um, like this is a little token job that she's doing. And Let's talk about that when we get back. Let me take a break real okay. quick, and we'll talk about that. All right. This is the Mac Media Show. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It is free. And don't forget to like the video. Visit themacmediashow.com. Check out the schedule. Visit the swag shop. Become a guest on the show or submit a question. Do it all on themacmediashow.com. Welcome back to the Mean Review Show. We were talking about Josh Altman, what we think about Josh and Heather. Uh, I see a lot of things about people thinking Heather had plastic surgery. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't, I don't think she's addressed that yet. I think she's huh. ignored it. But uh, I've thought about that. Seen a lot about it, and uh, a lot of people upset. 
Wow. Telling her to stop with the plastic surgery. Wow. Uh, little clip last night. There was a pillow in one of the scenes that uh, <laughs> I saw the pillow. <laughs> looked like a four-letter word that ended with you. Yeah, it did. And it uh, went kind of viral on Twitter. Everybody was, what's the pillow say? What's the pillow that was say? terrible. Never addressed. Never addressed the pillow that I'm aware of. So we don't know what the pillow says. Should have turned it around. <laughs> It didn't look good anymore. Now, why would they have a pillow? I don't like know. That, you know. It's ugly. I don't know. There's just a difference in, uh, you think Josh has a real ego or if it's for TV? What do you think? You know, I'm not completely sure. I think some of it is him. I think it's him. Um, but he's going to have to be the one to balance this, this money, this business with a real life. And I don't know if he's ready to do that yet. You know, uh, Ryan Serhant on the other one, on New York, you know, he was that way for a long time. And he mm-hmm. said, I have no friends. I have nothing. All I do is work. I work, 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 because I'm really pushing to make all this money. And at the end of the day, you know, he learned that was not the main thing in life. And he didn't make as much money this past year, but he learned that he, you know, fell in love with Amelia, and his life's totally different. See, I'm not sure Josh is at the point yet where he's willing to – let the job become secondary to his real life Mm -hmm. right now he's all caught up in it he's making all the money and i'm gonna tell you it is easy to get it trapped into that because you make good a a good commission on one and then you're thinking okay oh i'm on i'm on a hot streak let's do the next one Mm -hmm. you know i don't have time to wait and do anything else so um you know i'm not sure i hope he's going to be a little different um from what i'm thinking i hope he he mellows a little bit and understands what he might be losing if he loses Heather or whoever he chooses to marry. Yeah. Um, but he won't have another life unless he wants to just stay with his brother and them both just kind of live by themselves and sell real estate. I don't think he's thought it through. I think you're right. I, exactly. I, I don't think, I think he's think thought he it through. To... That's right. He's just caught up in it, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's all for TV, too, but... Uh... But he seemed like the ring was kind of show for show, you Well, know? yeah, the whole thing, it seems like he's caught up in the yeah, idea. Yeah, you go eat the cake, and it's for show, and it's and nothing seems real... I know you guys don't understand a lot of the wedding <laughs> planning. <laughs> hey, nah, easy. Because I've been easy. around that, but it, but, you know... It's serious stuff. I mean, you got to make good decisions on Heather this stuff. Heather seems like she is really kind of upset with him. She's getting tired of him because he's showing no interest in, in her or the plans. or So it kind of makes you feel like, well, I'm not really sure no, that I, I want to do this. I see tweets that have, he's tweeting pictures of them, you know, in Greece and other places. Oh, okay. They're well, happy. Well, and, good. Well, did they get married? I don't know if they got married. They may be on a honeymoon right now. I don't okay. know. They've been out of the country, it looks like. but Okay. And then another tweet was... He it was a picture of his dog or something, and he woke up and by himself, and he said, um, "The dog's uh, waking up next to the dog's better than waking up to Heather or something." It was like I don't know, maybe it was something for the TV show, but I, who knows if what they're really feeling? Yeah. Um, but I felt like this week she was trying to stick it to him in yeah. the negotiations <laughs> with him. I think a so bit. too. Uh, I think it was awesome. I, I was hoping that she would um, get you know. I, I was hoping that she would walk away from the house instead of make a deal with him. Yeah, me too. Uh, because that would really be a shot in the but, face. But uh, I it, don't know. It was good. It she was held good. her ground. She held I'm her ground. I'm glad that she stood up a little bit. Mm-hmm. And I'm glad they showed her on TV this week. Yeah. We hadn't seen much of Heather this That's season. That's right. You know, we had said that last week or a couple of weeks ago. We wish they would put more Heather, you know, mm-hmm. working yep. on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Um, not to change the subject, but have you noticed how Josh Flagg seems like he's kind of taking a back seat? Does he sort of seem like he's kind of low-key right now? In the show, or? Yeah, just kind of in the show. I mean, like, like, like last night. Are you saying night. he's getting less time on TV, or? Mm, just not as, I don't know, just not as flashy, I guess, as he's been in the past. It's almost like he took that one last night. It was kind of quirky, <laughs> you know. Yeah. And... He had the other one that was kind of quirky the week before, you know, was that was over the racetrack. Well, you're um, going to have your, your huge houses and you're going to have your your smaller houses. But I, I don't feel like he, I think he's kind of slowed down a little bit. Yeah, that's sort of what I, I mean. I don't think he's working as fast he because he doesn't have like to. He's, yeah, pushing as hard. But oh, one thing I heard last night that was so interesting because I didn't know this was that when they showed him, you know, talking about his parents' home and they're redoing the home before they sell it. 
and, yeah, and the home he grew up in. Yeah. I did not know that Colton was a mm-hmm. uh, designer. Mm-hmm. I, I've always wondered what Colton did. Yeah. Never had a clue. So that was interesting for them to tell us last night. I don't think they've ever said. Yeah, and I hate to keep talking about tweets because it sounds like I'm addicted to Twitter. Uh, but we live tweeted the show, and so we got a lot of responses. Yeah. And one tweet that I sent out was that Colton was a designer. Very interesting. Sad to see Josh sad. And somebody tweeted me back as if they knew Colton personally. And it said, she said, I know. What a cutie when he was little. So I don't know. Maybe I thought maybe that I don't think it's his mom. I don't think it's Josh's mom or, or Colton's. I don't know. Maybe it's a relative or something. But whoever this was that tweeted me knew Colton personally. And he, she's known him for a long time. Anyways, I thought the theory was that <clears throat> Colton and Josh could have been uh, longtime friends for a long, I mean, a long, since childhood, maybe. I don't know. Hmm. And, um, I don't, I don't know. I think they've been together. How long? Seven do you think? to eight years. Is nine that right? years, somewhere in there, yeah. He, I think he said one <clears throat> time in the past seasons it was seven years. Might have been the end of last season when he was talking about buying that house yeah. for him, you remember? He said, you know, Colton's put up with me a lot for seven years, and, you know, yeah, I owe him, whatever. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it was interesting to see that Colton does that. That's that's interesting. That mm-hmm. was interesting. And it was sad seeing him in his uh, childhood home. Yeah. And them changing it. It is hard to do that. I've gone back to. Well, he's like going that. through a transition phase. It seems I think like. he is, too. I think, I think he is. That's kind of why things bit. have slowed down, maybe. I mean, I think so. I think he's, uh, yeah, I think he's just kind of. He had a weird house last night. Oh, that was so And a so weird good. owner. Mm, what was, was her name? Uh, Hillary. Hillary. Yeah, and her daughter. I don't and know what her daughter's her, name was. But. Well, they... Man, did you see that kitchen? Uh, it was weird. The kitchen looked like a... <laughs> oh, that was so odd. Like a... Well, it was gothic revival type uh, mm, architecture awful. on everything, but... Not my... Not my choice. It but. looked like a, a medieval church inside of her home. It was... Uh, Strange. She said she had done that on purpose too, so <laughs> I was shocked. Yeah, that's just some different taste. But well, it was terrible because after he goes to the trouble of getting the house cleaned up and mm-hmm. uh, they decluttered and got like sixty percent of the crap out of there, yeah, uh, finally gets a full price offer on this weird freaking place, mm-hmm. and she says, "I don't think I want to sell it." She's not emotionally ready to go. That's right. And one thing that I want to credit Josh Flagg on, it yeah. was just good for him. I mean, just a very nice thing to do was that he told her she if, he, if she doesn't feel ready, she doesn't need to sell it. That's right. And any other broker would have tried to convince her to continue to sell the house Yeah. because they want the commission. But somebody did point out on Twitter, again, going back to Twitter, that Josh doesn't need the money as bad. You know, I mean, he, he, oh, no, sure none of them need the money, but... Yeah, they go back to his family's rich and he's put in business and all that. You know, I hate that because Josh works just as hard as the other people do. Yeah, I think he does. Yeah, it doesn't matter where you come from it, as long as you work hard. So anyways, I, I kept hearing that. But anyways, it, it was a nice thing for him to do for her. Yeah, it was. It was and really um, she appreciated it. Mm-hmm. And um, that's something that a lot of the other brokers wouldn't have done. That's right. That's right. Yeah. But he was he was really sweet about that. You're right. It's cool the way he drove up in the front of that house the first time in that big Mercedes, that old oh, com- yeah. convertible Mercedes. Classic Mercedes. Yeah, it was neat. It was really neat. Josh is the man. He is. He's just, you never know what he's going to come up with. <clears throat> it's so funny. I think this thing between Altman and David and James is pretty interesting. Heather and David and James were working. Heather brought a client to David and James's property mm-hmm. and um, ended up buying... Altman's property, Heather did. Mm-hmm. But uh, the David and James, they, they called Heather on the phone and she was at the house with yeah, Josh. I hated that. Oh, I hated Josh that. Josh grabs the phone <laughs> and he uh, oh. talks some trash to David and James a little yeah. bit. But yeah. I don't know, Aaron, somebody tell me if that's real or not. <laughs> I know. We hate that. We don't like for him to do like that. And he should be proud. And well, it was it was nice of uh, James to say, you know, well, good, good for you. I'm glad you sold it. And then what was so odd is sometimes when you see people talk ugly to other people, 
it comes back to get you, and then James and David sold that other one for two, two point eight. Yeah, some karma there. Altman. Yeah, I was fixing to say. So you need to keep that in mind when you're saying. I like them all though. I, I like Josh Altman too. Oh, I do I mean, too. I, I do too. I think the personalities are just make the show. I like it. Yeah, it's it's fun. But um, I like them all. I do too. They're just a lot of fun. But we're gonna um, make a trip out there and see David and James. Oh, that'd we'll, be fun. We'll have them on the podcast. That would be fun. About that. Yeah, that would be fun. That yep. would be awesome. Well, we covered everything that happened last night. I think we did. I think we did. Uh, oh, we didn't talk about Elon. Oh, yeah. That, that was name? the one that, uh, that Heather that, bought. Did I get the name right? Yeah. Yeah. Elon is the guy we saw him from a season or two ago at Josh. He's a flipper. Mm-hmm. Um, somebody came up with an, in a 9 8, uh, what is it, 9 18 Spider, I think. Yeah. Nice mm-hmm. car. Really oh, nice yeah. Car. Yeah. That the car, is, I think, is $980,000. But, uh, yeah. He somebody asked what he did for a living, and I told him that he was a flipper. I think that's what he does. I don't, he probably has. Some He's other a developer things. slash, you know, he'll take houses and, and redo them. Right. So yeah. remodeler, yeah, developer, kind of, yeah. And he and he makes the money with those with right. that. But uh, I'm sure he does something else too. I mean, maybe not. I don't know. No, I mean, you can make a lot of money doing that. I guess that. you can. <laughs> you sure can. Well, he he built a nice house. He, he, he's he, done good jobs on on the he's interiors. He's got good taste. He does have good like. taste, or somebody he hires does. Yeah. Because, and, he, and he's smart for not wanting to overlist the property, too. Yeah, he's always wanting to underlist them, isn't he, to just go ahead and get rid of them. But, you know, that's a good thing to have the balance of Josh Altman because he kind of keeps him in the real world. You can get more for this, you know. Mm-hmm. And I think that's... Uh, that's a positive about an, having an agent. Yeah. And um, I think they're developing a good relationship, and, and Josh Altman will probably get a lot of listings from him. Yeah. As they sell them. Yep. So that was cool to see Elon. I like him. He's He seems like a cool yeah. guy. Yeah. Um, yeah anyways, I, I mean, I, I don't. I think we talked about everything I want to talk about. Is there anything else you want to talk what about? What did we see on the previews last night? I'm trying to remember. Because um, I, I can't know. remember the previews. I know last week's previews. I didn't. I don't think we did. We. I don't. I don't think I saw the previews. I can't remember. Uh, Aaron knows. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember the previews for next and week. He's not telling anybody. There's a guy named Andy too. Bravo, Andy. That um, Madison talked about on Twitter. Oh. There's something that said he may tell when Madison's coming back. Um, he's probably coming the last show. This would be my take. Yeah, sure. just for a finale surprise. Yeah. you know, I just think I wonder what Madison's doing now. Is he just on the speaking circuit and the writing the books and the? I said I've looked at his uh, his Facebook some, and he's always on vacation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's always somewhere nice, tweeting beautiful pictures. Yeah, and uh, so is Chad hey, Rogers. I say go for it. That sounds great. Chad needs to come back. Where's oh, <laughs> you are really. You and Chad have become good buddies, haven't oh, you? Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> we're, we're the homies on Twitter. Oh, Chad's obviously doing really well, too. Not only looking good, but he's still doing really well with uh, with wow. real estate. and um, Chad's a man. Yeah, he's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. They may want to bring him back sometime. I don't know. He's so weird. It's, like, awesome. <laughs> wonder what Michael Lorber's doing. I guess he doesn't have to oh, do anything. Oh, no, keep him off. Bye I don't bye. think he needs to do anything. His See dad, you, Michael. He's his probably, dad owns uh, that company, doesn't he? What's the company? Yeah, he's probably giving up on real estate. I don't know that that was his forte, really. He's into the, uh, I don't know, what, what, what are people that don't work, what are they into? What, they buy shoes? <laughs> he likes to buy shoes. I remember oh, that. Oh, guy's strange. <laughs> I don't think real estate was his forte. Like I said, his forte. I think he uh, kind of fell into it, but he didn't seem as interested as his father. Yeah. You know? yeah. But um, his dad's done real well with it, and has and has a lot of respect from a lot of agents in in New York and Los Angeles. So. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, it's it's a good show. Enjoyed it last night. It was great. Love the tweets. Um, love to get other people's opinions on things if yeah. they see it the same way we do. Yeah. I think it's fun to. To let the people on the show know, like David, James, you know, Josh and all of them, um, what, we f- what we hear out here, what we see. Because them putting the show together, they know a lot of that background. So they don't think... Well, that's what that Aaron said, Yeah, too. that we're missing something. Like like last week when we said, or two weeks ago, when, when uh, Josh and uh, Colton <laughs> and that uh, other girl, the other investor, flipped that property... 
just the lot it was a gutted house you remember they were going to build on it and then they didn't and um and they flipped it and i said i bet you they hadn't had it more than six months but they had not set on the show yeah and then they tweeted us and said it was six and a half yeah. so it was i was close you wouldn't want to keep it much longer than that and, yeah you know and, that, and that's what aaron said so too he said it's interesting for him to listen to the podcast because it you know being editor or whatever mm-hmm. gives him feedback yeah and yeah. and what we're seeing opposed to what they think we're saying right exactly because which they, is cool because it is what we're saying a lot of people feel the same way you know yeah, we're yeah. saying the same things people are saying on twitter we've had a lot of requests for people to be on the show mm-hmm. people wanting to be on the show we're that gonna have to go live sometime here that soon, would be Reed. fun I mean, um we've just had a lot of other things well, you've had about in life so yeah come into play this season well you're doing your thing and i'm and i'm yeah, doing my thing than, and we come together exactly we, <laughs> we meet thursdays you know she, exactly we meet at the studio but uh yeah it's been it's been you know a lot going on this se- do you feel that way too that there's been a lot going on that has been this season more than any other season for us personally oh yeah it i gets, don't know i don't want to talk know. about personal stuff no no, no i'm not going to talk about it but i'm just saying well, we can but i just don't uh-uh, i'm just saying it. that has gotten in the way to me of trying to put together the live show we have all good intentions and we <laughs> no i mean it's just it's just uh we could go live we just haven't done it that's it that's plain well and simple. i think it would be fun because I mean, i'd like to hear you know the comments then we can do the whole time. show live and uh we should fun. you know um i think it'd be fun and and a lot of people would have their opportunity to call in and be a part of it which we just need to we need to suck it up and do it that's all oh okay well we can do it well somebody's telling me i need to wrap this up and get going all right uh i think it was a great show this week i enjoyed the show Mm -hmm. real good really fun and lots we had a lot to talk about this is probably Mm -hmm. one of our longest shows i thought it was a good eight and a half eight and a half (laughs) i think it was yeah i think it was definitely an eight and a half maybe it was an eight and a half maybe you gotta have some room there you do if you if i go too high it's like dancing with the stars well some people oh man you know where to go you're into that yeah i do like dancing with the stars it is good it's fine. Yeah. Well, I can't wait for Celebrity Apprentice this fall. Oh, me either. Because we tell it how it is. Oh, I love Celebrity Apprentice we because are so two. many personalities and and nastiness. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that yeah. we don't care for. Uh, but. Well, hey, <laughs> I, I I think it's great. I think it's a good. This is a good show. I think that'll be a good show. Oh yeah. We'll have New York coming back soon. Oh, baby. I know, and I can't wait. I know it. the The community is going to grow even more with New York because. That has the most viewers, uh, the the biggest mm-hmm. viewership probably. Um, yeah, but we'll I love see. New York. I mean, it's just been a fun thing doing this, and uh, everybody's just been great. And uh, hopefully, we'll be live in the next couple of weeks per request. Mm-hmm. And um, we'll see you then. I think. Is there anything else you want to say? That's it. Just uh, have a great week. Thanks for all the tweets. Thanks for the support. And we will see you on YouTube. Well, other places. You can't just say YouTube. Gosh. I know. Okay. I'm I just say YouTube. I'm sorry. Now, you right. know, YouTube's probably the one of the few, surprisingly one of the least amount of viewers. Oh, we're, really? We're probably okay. uh averaging 300, 350 on YouTube. But, you know, that's small of our 12,000. I guess so. Yeah. I We just got so many places. See, that's it. You yeah, know, it's distribution true. just getting this thing out there and that's true. and a lot of it's just been word of mouth. People just coming out of everywhere, just people spreading the show and everything. Mhm. It's amazing. So, thank you all 12,000 mm-hmm. of you. The Mac Median yep. community is know, a strong one. <laughs> and uh again, we are the two that review for you, baby. That's right. That's, That's right. it. That's so right. we'll see you again next Thursday for uh, the eighth episode of yeah. Million Dollar Listing LA. Mm-hmm. Four to go. You ready? Yeah. Four to go. Yes, four. You I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Four more and we're at the season finale. So I'm glad we have 12 and not eight. Aaron, I hope you edited in a lot of Madison. Everybody <laughs> loves Madison. I know you did. We do. Yeah, we love Everybody Madison. Everybody likes Madison. It'll He's, be fun to see him come back. Yeah, nothing against David and James. They're great too, but mm-hmm. everybody likes Madison too. So, oh yeah, I wish you could add a fourth. Don't you? Don't you wish I could extend the show to two hours and add a fourth? Oh uh, yeah, wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, that'd be cool. They can bring Chad back. Oh yeah. What's you, his dog's name? Have Chad and Madison work together. <laughs> What's his dog's Didn't name? They hated each other. Did you know that? <laughs> oh no, I didn't know that. Chad it, and you, Madison hated. Well, you know each the other. one episode that we saw a long time ago with Chad and Josh Flagg were just going at it. Yeah. 
So I don't know if you got along with any of them. I don't think so. But anyway, he's making his own world now. So Chad's a man. Everybody's. I mean, everybody's got their own unique little thing going on. I know. All it's right, fun. we got to run. This All is right, really going over. We're at thirty-eight minutes, girl. Oh, oh well, goodness. Uh oh. <laughs> Well, not bad for you. We're running run. long. Stuff yeah, doing. we're running long. All right. We'll see you next Thursday for another episode of Me and Re. Mm-hmm. Until then, hope you have a great week, and we'll see you then. Have a great week. This is the Mac Media Show. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It is free. And don't forget to like the video. Visit themacmediashow.com. Check out the schedule. Visit the swag shop. Become a guest on the show or submit a question. Do it all on the macmediashow.com.